starts on the Knock Hill circuit. Malcolm Wilson, just back from the Acropolis Rally, favourite in the factory. Michelin Ford. He sets first time immediately. Inboard with him and Brian Thomas. Absolute crest long to 30. Not going so well over Bruno Arntzen in the Formula 2 Opal. Off he goes backwards into the infamous Knockhill tyres. And David Llewellyn in the factory. Vauxhall Astra, also in Formula 2, has a bit of a moment. Did you see him run? That was a bit of action, wasn't it? <laughs> well, Ian Grindrod cannot believe what's happening there. Day two after those show stages, and Malcolm Wilson gets down to the serious job in the forests and the glens and sets the pace of the rally. He wins the first two stages. Very tricky conditions in a lot of this. And behind him, Marcus Gronholm. Oh, have his a moment there in the Toyota, into the log pile. In the Toyota team at Europe. Castrol, Toyota Celica. Off he goes, taking oil drums and tapes with him. He's in second place, but the big fight now is in Formula 2. Tommy Mackinnon leading Formula 2 from Alistair McRae, both of them in the Nissan Motorsport Europe, sunny GTIs. Third, David Llewellyn in the Opel Astra, Vauxhall Astra. As we see again in board. Two right narrows and one left 70. Oliver, yeah, square left. The Nissans are going very, very quickly. We don't seem to be able to, to compete with them, you know. They've got the edge all the time. Well, in Group N, Martin Rowe is leading, fighting out with Johnny Milner. Both these in the Shell Scholarship cars. Johnny Milner, though, has a fuel pump problem on the stage and will lose some 10 minutes. And long right four. Two. Left five, what's the matter? Stop. But by the end of the second day, Malcolm Wilson's built up a strong lead and he's now easy left. trying all sorts of right new tweaks. Left right, 120 over King. Left max long, 20. Run home and Cylinder still in second place. And Stephen Finley, Malcolm Wilson's teammate, getting closer and closer all the time to Gronholm. Murray Grierson is fourth in the Subaru Legacy. And Dougie Watson Clark is in fifth place at the moment. Well, Milner's catching up. Some of the slower drivers now, after his early problems, the fuel pump fixed. And just watch what happens ahead of him on the road to Kevin Caron. Well, we saw Caron rolling there as we see the Scottish locks here in the Highlands. Day three will again be dominated by Malcolm Wilson. He puts on an incredible demonstration, just proving he really is the best driver in Britain, other than Colin McRae. This is the Drummond Hill stage, 16 kilometers, and he's 35 seconds faster than anybody else in the rally. Continues. 
Well, just to add to Malcolm Wilson's joy, his teammate, Stephen Finlay, is now up into second place. He's gone ahead of Marcus Gronholm. It's been a very hard rally, um, the rally itself, but, um, you know, the car and everything else has just performed impeccably. And uh, obviously, I mean, I'm delighted that Stephen's finished second. Uh, and Stephen keeps the championship lead. Well, Marcus Gronholm in third place, almost a minute back from Finlay. Murray Grierson finishes fourth. And winning Group N, Philip Young takes fifth place. Winning Formula 2, Tommy Mackin, and at last Nissan getting that much-wanted Formula 2.